Halloween. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for Halloween to start. <laughs> the delicious candies and the trick-or-treating. <sighs> A scary-looking lion! <laughs> it's only me, Squidgy. This is my costume. You're wearing a costume. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Justin! What is it, Mom? Have you seen my phone anywhere? Uh-uh. Huh. I really need it before we go out to the Halloween parade. I'll go check in the kitchen. Huh. <sighs> Oh, what's wrong, Justin? I was playing with Mom's phone, but I think I lost it. Why don't you just tell Mom? Tell Mom? If she finds out I took it, she won't let me go to the Halloween parade. Ooh. Hmm. I really wanted to show off my costume. You look just like a real lion! Roar! <laughs> and the parade will be so awesome! With vampires <laughs> <laughs> and werewolves. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and mommy. Justin. Thanks, Mom. Ooh, this house looks spooky. Want me to come with you? Nope. I'll be fine. I love spooky stuff. Justin? This place is really spooky. Ah! What was that? I think it was a bat, Squidgy. I'm scared of bats. I'm scared of bats, too. But I'm not scared of anything else. Really? How about a foggy forest? Doesn't scare me. Or a deep, dark c -c cave? Nope. Not scary at all. Uh, or what about a really big, really sp sp spooky castle? Squidgy, that would be spooktacular! Welcome to Transylvania! <laughs> oh, oh, it's just you. Do you like my scary voice? That's how we talk around here. Oh, I can do that too. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's pretty good, Squidgy. Listen to this. <laughs> you sound just like the Count. Who's that? The Count of Transylvania. <laughs> he lives here in this castle. But he's away on vacation, so I'm feeding his pets. Pets? Oh, I love pets. Me too. The Count gave me these special instructions on how to take care of them. Dear Olive, thank you for your help. Please remember, only feed my pets. After dark. I don't like the dark. It's, it's, um, spooky. I know, Squidgy, but I did promise the Count. We'll come with you, Olive. This castle doesn't scare me. I love spooky stuff. Bats! Except bats. I really don't like bats. Bats are super spooky scary. Olive, maybe we should go inside and feed the pets now. Good idea. Whoa, this place is really big. I wonder where the pets are. Nope, nothing to be afraid of. It's <gasps> got me! It's hairy! Maybe it's my hair. No, wait, I don't have hair! <laughs> it's just a cobweb, Squishy. 
Huh? Oh, oh, right. Yeah, I knew that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <gasps> that must be the queen. The queen? Queen Cleopatra. Here she comes now. Make way for the queen. The queen is a kitty cat. Olive, dear. I need the usual for Kia. <laughs> Whisker wax, claws cut, and tail straightened. The works. Oh, <laughs> you have guests. Your Highness, allow me to introduce my friends, Justin and Squidgy. Greetings, Greetings Your Highness. <laughs> How utterly charming. You're beautiful. It's true. I am quite magnificent. Hello, Kia. Ready to get pretty? Oh, she's filthy. We'll get her cleaned up. Good. The royal parade is tonight, and I want Kia to look as magnificent as... well, as me. Leave it to us. Right, boys? Right. right. Okay, let's get to work. Nice kitty cat. She sure is dusty. Huh. I'll go get the whisker wax. Which pet do we feed first, Olive? Let me check. First, we have to go to the dining hall and feed Chompy. <gasps> Wait, what? The pet's name is Chompy? Whoa, 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 what is it? Maybe it's a wolf with big teeth that go chomp, chomp. Or, or, wait, what if it's a tiger? Or a shark? Sharks are scarier than tigers. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any sharks in Transylvania, Squidgy. Are you sure? No sharks. Promise. Um, oh, okay. <clears throat> well, let's go find Chompy then. <laughs> Okay, here's the dining hall. Here, Chompy. Come on, boy. Maybe Chompy's under here. Hmm, no. How about inside this cup? No. Oh, wait, he's under this thing. No, I don't see him anywhere. Oh! Oh! Hi, little fishy. <laughs> I think I found Chompy. Oh, wow, well, he's you the cutest little fishy wishy. Look at you blowing all the bubbles. Aw, he's a cute little goldfish. Here you go, little Chompy. I guess that's why he's named Chompy. <gasps> Did you hear that? It's coming from behind that curtain. Is it a bat? It sounded like a bat. A squeaky bat. I don't like squeaky bats. Me neither. It's probably nothing. <gasps> It's just wind coming through the window. Oh, right! Oh, nothing to worry about. <gasps> Did you hear that? What is that? must be the castle's library. We're supposed to find a cage on a table with the Count's next pet. Loser! Oh. What's that? Ooh. Maybe it's Bruiser. It looks like a pet in a cage. I hope Bruiser isn't a scary bat. Well, whatever he is, he's probably hungry. That's what I'm afraid of. Aww. Hi, Bruiser. Oh, he's so cute. Bruiser's just a little squeaky hamster. Are you hungry, Bruiser? Yeah. How about a nice Romanian cabbage? Uh -huh. Oh. <gasps> hmm. Kosla. Wow. These animals really like their food. Let's go inside. Wow! Hey, Justin. Hey, Squidgy. What do you think of my pyramid? 
Olive, this place is yours? Sure is. I'm the queen of the Aztecs, and this is my treasure room. Treasure room? We love treasure! Olive, you have such cool stuff. I know, but you guys have got to see this. It's the most amazing treasure ever! <gasps> Olive, you like bananas too? My golden sun mask! It's gone! Hmm, golden sun mask? What's that for? We use it for our sun party, but without it... There won't be a sun party? I guess not, Squidgy. Don't worry, Olive. Maybe we can help you find it. We are the world's greatest treasure hunters, you know. See my treasure hunting badge? Treasure hunters? Do you really think you can find it? You bet, Olive! Maybe there's a clue here. Hmm, looks like a missing banana. Hmm. Ah! Look, another missing banana. And there's another one. There's a whole trail of them, and they go right out that door. Do you think they might lead to my sun mask? Maybe, Olive. Let's go find out. Oh. Hi, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Welcome to the Stone Age. Olive! The Stone Age? Wow! What are you building? Clover and I are building a stone circle. Hmm. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Moody, you too! <laughs> <laughs> now, here are the instructions. We need to put eight stones in a circle. Just like this. A stone circle? What's it for, Olive? For looking at stars. Ooh, I like twinkly stars. Me too. So do I. And that's why I have to finish the stone circle today. Why today, Olive? It's the longest day of the year. We get to stay up late and watch the stars. We can help. Yeah, we're the fastest builders ever. Great, let's get started. I'm building a circle to look up at the stars. I'm building it with stones, but the stones are really large. They're all so very heavy. It's so hard to bring them over, but I don't need to worry, cause I've got my best friend, Clover. Nice work, Clover. That's the second stone done. Only six more to go. Six heavy stones? Yikes. That'll take forever. Hmm. Maybe there's an easier way. How? Well, do these things really need to be made out of stone? <laughs> yeah, they're really heavy, Olive. Well, these instructions say it's a stone circle. But I guess you could use something else. Just as long as we... Great! Squidgy and I will work on this half. Okay. And Clover and I will work on the other half. Oh. Let's start building! Hmm. Why is everyone pretending to be a cow? <laughs> We're not cows, Squidgy. These are helmets. We are Vikings. We love to dance, we love to sing, we love to explore. It's a Viking thing. It's a Viking thing. They do that a lot. <laughs> so what are you guys doing here? Well, we're looking for new land. Except... What's up, Olive? We haven't found anything in ages. Uh -uh. Well, lucky for you. I'm a great explorer, too. Maybe I can help. Hooray! Let's look at the map. All these pictures mean something different. This is home. And this is where the beasties live. Ooh, beasties! Hey, nobody said anything about the beasties. Don't like them. Me neither. Awful bad, Brad. And over here are the stormy seas. Why are there no pictures here? Eh, because we've never been there before. 
Then that's exactly where we should go. Past the sea beasties? Through the cold and stormy seas? That's right. Nothing is going to stop us. <laughs> you sound just like us. Here, you'll need these. <gasps> Our very own cow hats. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, these things are pointy. Ouch! You can't get me. You're never gonna catch me. Stop right there. Where'd you go, Justin? Here I am. <gasps> what is it, Justin? Uh-oh. Did we do that? Nope. I think it was already broken. But if I didn't break it and you didn't break it, then who broke it? Someone must have come and knocked the vase off the table. Who could it be, Justin? Hmm. Well, we didn't see anyone upstairs when we came down, so whoever it was had to have gone down the hallway. Come on, Squizzy. We've got a mystery to solve. <gasps> Another day in the city, and boy, was it hot. All I could think of was a tall, cool, refreshing water slide. A big one. Well, that juice wasn't as refreshing as a water slide, but it sure hit the spot. I had a feeling this moment wouldn't last. Justin, it's really dark in here. How can we see what you're doing? Hi, Justin. Hey, Squidgy. Welcome to New York City. This is our private investigator's office. We're investigators? What's an investigator? Investigators help people solve mysteries. Yeah, we need to ask lots of questions and look for clues. Oh, I love looking for clues. Great. It's tough solving mysteries with just my sketches. How do you solve mysteries by drawing? I'll show you. Give me a few clues about someone and I'll draw them. <gasps> Can I try? Okay, he's covered in fuzzy brown fur, has two black button eyes and cute brown ears. Is this who you're thinking of? <laughs> the Moo Moo Bear! That's amazing, Olive. I can't wait for a mystery. Who is it? Hello, my name is Mildred. I do hope you can help. Come on in. I'm Justin, and this is Squidgy and Olive. What's the matter? I am ever so worried. My dear kitten Humphrey has gone missing. Did he run away? No, he never goes far from home. I can't find him anywhere. Hmm, sounds like a mystery. <laughs> okay, Justin, now guess what I am. <laughs> You're a bear. Nice one, Squidgy. My turn. Aha! Uh -huh. Ta-da! <gasps> um, you're a mop! Nope. I know, I know! You're a sunflower! No. Well, what are you, Justin? I'm a lion! Roar, roar! Oh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Really? Hey, what happened to my ears? My lion costume's broken. Well, it makes a very nice flower. But I want it to be a lion, Squidgy. I can't be a lion without a lion costume. I need a really good one. With eyes that blink. Ooh, yeah, yeah. And ears that flap. And a huge mouth that goes chomp, chomp, <laughs> chomp. <laughs> chomp. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Now that's a lion costume. Thanks. I'm in. I'm Jin. Huh? <laughs> We're the Lion Dance twins. Cool. Uh, what's a lion dance? You dress up as a lion and dance around for good luck. It's the best part of Chinese New Year. <gasps> New Year? I love New Year! <laughs> that's the spirit, Squidgy. There you go, Justin. Your own little tent. What do you think? Awesome, Dad. Can I go in now? Sure thing, kiddo. Grab your gear and get camping. <laughs> Our very own tent! 
So what do you want to do, Justin? Let's play with my Super Stretchy Sam. Yeah, yeah, I love Super Stretchy Sam. Uh-oh. When is it, Justin? I left all my toys at home. Then how are we going to play? We need to find something to play with. Come on. are cool. Oh, look, a cute little tiger <laughs> and a beautiful birdie and a sweet little snake. <laughs> snake! It's okay, Squidgy. It's just a puppet. Watch this. Hey, how did you do that? By wiggling these sticks. That looks fun. Can I try your puppet, Olive? Sure, here. Ah, a snake! <laughs> Squidgy, it's just a puppet, remember? Oh, yeah, right. Uh. Do you want to give it a try? No, it's okay. Come on, Squidgy. What if you try that one? A butterfly. I thought you might like it. <laughs> Look, I'm a puppeteer, too. Hey, Olive, why don't we put on a puppet show? Oh, oh, can we, can we? You betcha. And I know the perfect place. We should give her a bath. Yeah, baths are fun. Ah! Bath time for Kitty. <laughs> um, maybe she doesn't want a bath, Justin. Everyone loves baths, Squidgy. <laughs> uh, uh, no! Kia, no! Come back! I've got the whisker wax. Hey, where is Kia? She ran off. We were just going to give her a nice bath and... A bath? <laughs> Cats hate water. Oops. Sorry, Olive. That's okay. But we have to find her. Come on. Look! We can follow her paw prints. This way! Whoa! Look at the size of that cat! That's the Sphinx. She has the body of a cat and the head of a queen. <gasps> Look, it's Kia! To the pyramid. We need to be careful. Pyramids are dark, spooky, and full of traps. Great! Let's go! Oh, we love to dance, dance. we love to sing, we love to explore. It's a Viking thing! It's a Viking thing! I'll beat the drum. We'll roll, roll, roll to the beat! And I'll, um, I'll, uh, uh, what'll I do? You stir the porridge, Squidgy. Vikings need their food. Porridge? Porridge. That's an important job, Squidgy. Vikings don't like lumpy porridge. It's true, we love to dance, we love to sing. But we don't like lumps, it's a Viking thing. Roll the boat to the beat of the drum. I have an ouchie on my thumb. We love to explore and sail while we sing, cause singing and exploring is a Viking thing. It's a Viking thing! Hmm, the trail of banana peels ends here. Well, I guess whoever was eating them isn't hungry anymore. What do we do now, guys? Hmm. I don't know, Olive. I... Hmm? Hey! My hat! It's, it's a, a monkey. monkey! And he has my hat! <laughs> Come on, Mr. Monkey. Give me back my hat. Don't be afraid, boy. It won't hurt you. Come on. Give it here. Here's 
someplace. Now, where did that monkey go? Huh? Stop! Come back with my head! for being scared of bats. She puts a log in the front, 
Then she runs to the back and takes one from there. And then she runs to the front and puts it down there, and then she does it all over again. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of hard work. <sighs> yes, I'm tired just talking about it. Hmm. <gasps> I know how to build our half faster, Squidgy. How, Justin? We'll use something lighter. Aha! Uh -huh. Like that straw over there. Oh, good idea, Justin. Straw is easy to carry. Exactly. Come on. Okay. We're helping build the circle. We're building it with straw. It's oh so light and easy, and it won't take very long. We'll help our good friend Olive. We'll build it really fast. We'll build a circle up with straw so that it will last. Ready, Clover? Oh. Add it, girl. Hi, Olive. Hi, Squidgy. Here we go. Clover, push! Oh. 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 Hi, Olive. How's it going? Okay, but it takes a long time to move these stones. Not for us. We are all done. All done? But how? We use straw. <laughs> <gasps> Look! Over there! It's an island! Yay! Here, Justin. You found it. You plant the Viking flag. <laughs> hey, look! The perfect spot! Huh? Justin! Dad, look out! out! <gasps> oh! No beastie. It's a whale with a horn. Whoa. He must be a Viking too. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Thanks for the lift. <laughs> we need to stay together. You never know what's around the corner. Don't worry, Olive. I'm sure Key is close by. <gasps> what was that? I don't know. Let's check it out. Kia! There you are, you sneaky little kitty cat. Ah! She's been turned into stone! That's not Kia. It's a statue. <gasps> Listen! It sounds like she's in this room. She must be playing hide and seek. She must really not want to have a bath. I guess not, Squidgy. Let's go find her. Kia! Kia, are you hiding? Kia! Is this you? Hmm. Just another statue. <coughs> hey! Don't run away, Kia! We just want to wax your whiskers. She must have gone through one of these doors. But which one? Huh. Through here. Careful, the stairway's pretty dark. I'll just turn on the lights. Wait, Squidgy, that might be a hot trap! <laughs> We'd better get you home and cleaned up for the Queen's Parade. <laughs> you stay right there, Mr. Monkey! <laughs> huh? Cave. Now, where is that monkey? Yoo-hoo, Mr. Monkey! Hey! Another missing banana! There's a whole trail of them, and they lead right into that room! If we follow this trail, we'll find your hat. Okay, Mr. Monkey. Don't be afraid. I only want to get my... <gasps> my golden sun mask! golden sun mask all along. <gasps> and look, there's my 
hat. This belongs to you, Justin. And here's my mirror. I was wondering where that went. Hmm. <gasps> now I get it. The monkey likes shiny things. The jewels, the sun mask, Olive's mirror. But your hat's not shiny. But the badge is. Watch. Here you go, little guy. <laughs> and this belongs to you, Olive. Thank you, Justin. <sighs> Whoa, you guys are fast. Straw is way easier to move than those heavy stones. What a breeze. Yep, it was a breeze. No, I mean, it's a breeze. Just what we need to cool off. Oh. <sighs> Feels nice. <clears throat> what is that? Oh, no. What's happening? Look, my straw. It's blowing away. Oops. That straw was just too light. But I love what it's done with my hair. <clears throat> we need something a bit heavier than straw. Like what? Like these logs Olive was using. Come on, Squidgy. There's some more down the hill. We tried to build a circle, a circle out of straw. The wind came by and blew it down, so this time we'll use logs. They're all so big and all so strong as anything we found. Moving logs is easy peasy. You can roll them on the ground. Good girl, Clover. Just a little more push. Thanks for letting us use some of your logs, Olive. No problem. I had more than I needed. Perfect. One, two, three, four. We're finished our side. Raise it up, Squidgy. We've done our side too, Olive. Wow, that looks great. What was that? Thunder, we must be in the stormy seas. Don't worry, we're not going to let a storm ruin this adventure. Olive, we need your drumming. Porridge in the soup. But no lumps. Uh oh, whirlpool ahead. What's a whirlpool? That is a whirlpool. Oh, it's like a giant toilet. a really nice beastie. Come on, we'll just climb back out. It's too slippery. We'll just have to find another way. Hmm. Hey, someone forgot the doors. We're trapped! Olive, how are we going to get out of here? Pyramids always have a secret exit. But how are we going to find it? I don't know, Squidgy. 
We'll have to look around. Hey, what's Kia doing? It's the secret exit! doors, but they did make a cat flap. But can we fit through? Sure we can. You just have to pretend you're a cat. Meow. Huh? huh? Meow. 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 We're out. But where's Kia? Kia, where are you? <sighs> Don't worry, Olive. We'll find Kia. Oh, no! That's the queen! What are we going to tell her? Okay, maybe we should tell her that she ran away with a sphinx, or she turned to the stone, or, or, uh... No, Squidgy. We have to tell her the truth. Your Highness. Hello, Olive. I'm so looking forward to seeing my beautiful Kia. Where is she? Uh, well... See, the thing is... Kia ran away. But it's not all his fault. I tried to give her a bath and... You tried to bathe my cat? I'm sorry, Your Highness. A bath for Kia. How marvelous! <gasps> now, let's see if we can find her. <coughs> There you are, Kia. You're not angry with us? Angry? No, sweetie pie. I'm happy we have Kia back. And I'm very happy that you told the truth. Come along, darling. We have a parade to go to. Listen. Hooray! And after the parade, you're having a bath, my dear. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sounds like we have to go. We have our own parade. The Halloween parade. Have fun. You too. Bye, Olive. Bye, Olive. Bye. Bye, everybody. Hello? Huh? What's he saying, Squidgy? He says it's his treasure, he found it, and he's keeping it. Uh, you wouldn't like it if someone took your bananas, would you? Then if you give it back, we can have our party, and you can come too. It looks like he wants us to follow him. This looks familiar. <gasps> wow. <laughs> he says this is a secret shortcut to the pyramid. Now we can get back in time for our sun party. Great, let's go. guys, and no lineups. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, would you mind holding this for me, please? With pleasure, Olive. Thank you. Come on, guys. Let's put that mask where it belongs. <gasps> Here you go, Olive. No, Justin, you do the honors. Whoa! was easy peasy. And fast, too. And just as strong as your stones, Olive. Huh? Ah! Justin, be careful! <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Olive. It's okay, Justin. I should have helped you move the stones from the beginning. If I'd followed the instructions, we would have been done by now. Yeah, and now we won't get to see the stars twinkle. Hmm. It's not too late, Justin. The sun is still in the sky. Remember, it's the longest day of the year. Right, and if we all work together, we can get it finished in time. 
Clover can help, too. Oh. <laughs> this time, let's build it the right way. It's not a straw circle. It's not a log circle. It's a stone circle! Well, we're out of the stormy seas. Uh, but no sign of any land. Uh. Wait! I see something! Land! For real this time! Let's go! What are we going to call this place? I say we call it Just in Land. <laughs> I can't wait to explore this place, and I'm going to start with that house right over there. <laughs> it looks just like my house. Wait a minute. That is my house. But that means... <sighs> We're right back where we started. Hmm. I really thought we'd discover something. That's what explorers do. We tried our best, though. And we did discover this place, Justin. But it's already been discovered. Not all of it, though. Look at this funny rock. <laughs> it looks just like you, Squidgy. Huh, that's one good looking rock. <sighs> you know what? This might not be new land, but there's lots of stuff that we can still discover. Huh? Like what? Like this rock that all have just found. Hmm. I've never seen it before. It makes a perfect skipping stone. Here, watch. Good one! I bet I can discover a better one. Look at me! I just discovered the top of this tree! And I've discovered a cow with four horns! <laughs> you make a great Viking, Justin. I do? Yes, thanks to you, we can discover new things, even at home. Happy New Year, everyone! Olive! Hey, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Welcome to Shanghai. We are about to have the biggest New Year's party ever. Are you doing the lion dance too? I want to, but I need some partners. We'll do the lion dance with you. Really? Yeah, lion <laughs> dance! Rawr. So, where's your lion costume, Olive? I don't have one yet. I was going to see Mr. Lee about that. Ooh, Mr. Lee! He knows everything about lion dancing. Do you want to come and see him too? No, thanks. We already have our awesome costume. Watch <gasps> this! <laughs> wow! Flappy ears, blinky eyes, and a chompy mouth! What a cool costume! Justin, we have to get one! Yeah! Let's get one just like that. Mr. Lee will have exactly what we need. Awesome! This is my puppet teeter, and that's where I keep my puppets. Cool! A puppet chest. <gasps> Aw, look at this little bunny. I like this bird. Whee! Fluttery butterfly. <laughs> hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity, hippity hop. Hello, Mr. Butterfly. Hello, Squeaky. Nice to see you. <gasps> oh, hello, Mr. Monkey. <laughs> huh? Squidgy, you found my friend Buddy. He loves my puppets. Maybe he'd like to watch our show. What do you think, Buddy? <laughs> oh, he said yes. <laughs> you want to try my butterfly puppet? <laughs> okay. You just hold it like this, and you move it up and down. Here. Right. Now you move it up and down. That's it. You're getting it. Um, Squidgy. <laughs> Careful with that, buddy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Olive. Buddy broke the butterfly. <laughs> no problem, Squidgy. I can fix that. Can you please hand me that stick, buddy? Thanks. There you go, buddy. Good as... Hey, where'd buddy go? <laughs> <laughs> buddy, what are you doing in the puppet chest? 
Oh, I know. Puppets sure are fun. <laughs> Buddy says he really wants to play with the puppets. Sorry, those puppets break very easily. Mm-hmm. Why don't we play something else? Good idea. All right, everybody, it's party time! Come on, everybody, let's dance! Hey! Justin? I made this lost and found poster so we can find the real owner. Great idea. They'll be so happy to get their toy back. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Mom. Finding treasure is fun, but giving it back is even better. Yeah! <laughs> okay, everyone. This is the last stone. Ready? One, two, three, yeah! yeah! We did it! Oh. Look, the sun is setting! <gasps> and there's the first star of the night! They're so beautiful. The stone circle is showing us all the special stars. Look! There's the Big Dipper. And the crab. Oh, and the bull. Ha! It looks just like Clover. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Justin! Hey, that's my dad. He's back. Time to go. Happy stargazing, Olive. Thanks, Justin. Bye, guys. See you next time. Bye, Olive. Bye, Olive. Squidgy, I need your help. What are you doing? What I should have done before. Hmm? I need you to hold these, Squidgy. Okay. Hi, Justin. I got the missing legs. Great. Now we can finish it the right way. Here, you hold this, Justin. One more to go. Yeah, and that should do it. You ready? Ready. One, two, three, heave! Well, Justin, what do you think? Wow! Cool! Come on up, Dad. You can see the stars from here. We like to dance and explore and sing, but, but when things, things go wrong, wrong and you still have, have fun, fun, now that's, that's a Viking, Viking thing. thing! Justin, where are you? Come on, Squidgy. Time to go. Bye, Olive. Bye, Bjorn. Bye, Vikings. Bye. Goodbye. And thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Come on, Squidgy. We're going to go camping after all. But it's still raining outside. That's okay. We're going to camp inside. Hey, Dad. Want to camp out in the living room? Great idea, Justin. Who cares about a storm when we can camp right here at home? I'll get my sleeping bag. Yes! I think Dad is a pretty good Viking, too. Yeah, all he needs is a cow hat. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
So if Humphrey didn't run away, that means someone took him. <gasps> Don't worry, Mildred. We'll find out who did it. Yeah, and we'll bring Humphrey back. You can count on us. Oh, marvelous. Thank you ever so much for helping me. Now, Mildred, where did you last see Humphrey? Why, at my apartment, across town. All right, we've got a mystery to solve. Taxi! <laughs> to Mildred's apartment, please. That was fast. Mildred, what does Humphrey look like? His coat is the most handsome shade of gray. He has a small black nose and bright yellow eyes. Like this? Oh, my dear sweet Humphrey! I miss you ever so much! That is to say, your lovely sketch looks just like him. Mildred, when did you discover that Humphrey was missing? Just after lunch. Mildred, you had pizza for lunch, right? Oh, what kind? Ham and pineapple. No anchovies, of course. And what happened after lunch? I was going to paint a picture, and Humphrey was sitting right here. I only stepped away for a moment, and when I came back, Humphrey was gone. Look! I think I found something. Paw prints. Rainbow paw prints. Maybe the person who took Humphrey is actually another kitten. A kitty with rainbow feet. Have you seen any other cats in the neighborhood? Well, there's Betsy next door. She wears a rainbow-colored collar. A rainbow? Like the paw prints. That's who took Humphrey. Let's follow this trail. This way. The trail ends here, but no sign of Betsy or Humphrey. That's Betsy. Pardon me, Betsy. Were you at Mildred's earlier? And don't try anything funny, see? Wow. You weren't in Mildred's kitchen? Then where did you get this milk from? Meow. Oh, the milkman left it for you. Can you describe the milkman? Meow. He's skinny and has short hair. Meow. He wears a white uniform with a red bow tie. Meow. And a hat. Something like this? That's Milkman Stan. Aha! If Betsy didn't take Humphrey, it must be Milkman Stan. <gasps> there he is! That's him! Thanks for your help, Betsy. Whoa. Hello? Milkman Stan? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yes, that's me. We are private investigators. We have some questions about a missing kitten, a kitten named Humphrey. Humphrey is missing? I had no idea. So, you say you're a milkman, huh? Yes, indeed. I deliver milk to people's houses. Then how do you explain this empty bottle of milk? Uh, I like to feed cats along my milk route. See? Mm. I see. The story checks out. You know, I did stop to give Humphrey and Betsy milk near Mildred's apartment earlier. Did you see anyone else there? As a matter of fact, I did. A fellow with dark eyebrows, a round nose, and a mustache. Like this? Yes, that's the ticket. That's a genio from a genio's pizzeria. Aha, he must have taken Humphrey to a genio's pizzeria. Thanks for your help, Stan. Could have walked. Mr. Lee, are you there? Hmm? Huh, no one's home. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this cool lion. <laughs> Everyone. Happy New Year, Mr. Lee. These are my friends, Justin and Squidgy. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year! We're going to do the lion dance with Olive. I see. So, you are here to learn the lion claw? 
or the lion pounce. Or maybe the lion with the itchy ear. <laughs> Actually, we're just looking for a lion costume. The best one you've got. Yeah, one that roars. Of course. Here you go. This costume isn't very colorful. Oh, and it doesn't roar! Mr. Lee, about this costume, we were thinking... You want a better costume, don't you? Yes, exactly. We want to be the best lion dancers ever. Yeah! yeah! Then follow me. Bring the costume, but don't let it touch the ground. Now, if you want to be a good lion dancer, you must follow the lion's path. The lion's path? That must be a street with costume shops. The lion's path is not always straight. Sometimes you have to zigzag. Zig, zig, zig. Zag, zag, zag. Wow! Ta-da! Come on! Be careful not to break the vase. Stay together. Hmm. Okay. Let's try moving in a line. I'll go in front. And I'll go in back. Ready? Let's go. Zig, zag, zig, zag. Yeah! Wow. We did it. We did it. Yikes. Mud. The lion's path is not always smooth. Sometimes you have to hop. Your turn! <sighs> Come on, Olive. Yeah. Whoa, there's not much room for both of us, Justin. I'll hop to the next dry patch. Oh. Yeah. Come on, Squidgy. There's room for you now. Okay! All right, everybody. As long as we jump at the same time, we'll get across. Good idea, Justin. Ready and hop! Good, 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 good. You will be excellent lion dancers. So what do you want to play? <laughs> huh? <laughs> but he wants to play tag. I guess I'm it, but not for long. Tag! Huh? You're it now, Olive! <laughs> <laughs> Justin says. But only if I say Justin says. Justin says, hop up and down like a bunny. Boing, 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 boing. boing, boing. <laughs> I like carrots. Justin says, flap your wings like a birdie. <laughs> <laughs> now everybody go wild like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> but he wins. I didn't say Justin says. Now, Justin says, well, my tummy says it's snack time! Hey, where are you going, buddy? <coughs> Thanks, buddy! <laughs> huh? Looks like Buddy wants to play monkey in the middle. And I guess I'm the monkey! <laughs> Squidgy. Mm. Those were yummy bananas. Mm. It's starting to get late. It's almost time for the show. <laughs> hey, where are you going now, buddy? Aren't you coming to watch the puppet show? <laughs> oh, okay, well hurry back. The show's about to start. He says he has to go home. 
but he'll be back in time for the show. Uh. Hey, Mom, look what I found in the playground. Hmm, he's nice, Justin. Someone might have lost him. Hmm. Maybe we should try and find the owner? The owner? But that's me. I found it. Found what, Justin? He's a wrestler. He is? Wow. He must be the world's smallest wrestler. <laughs> He's just a toy, Squidgy. Not just a toy. It's treasure. Maybe. Hmm? But Mom said I have to give it back. But why? I don't know. Treasure hunters get to keep what they find, don't they? I think so. Yeah. If I went treasure hunting, I'd have the biggest pile of treasure in the whole world. Yeah, we could hunt for the lost sock and the missing blue crayon. And gold, too, Squidgy. We'd be the world's greatest treasure hunters. Wow. What is that? It's a pyramid, Squidgy. They're full of treasure. <gasps> uh, Squidgy? Race you! <laughs> <laughs> Ginormous. And big, too. <sighs> that play gym looks way better in the picture. Well, it looks okay when you tilt your head. Hmm. I was helping Dad put it together, but the legs are missing. Hmm. Where did they go? I don't know. Dad had to go back to the store to get new ones. Oh, that'll take forever! <laughs> Hey, these sticks can work. Justin, you dropped your instructions. Hmm. I don't need instructions. I'm an expert builder. Watch. We need to raise this ladder thingy. Hey, you're right. Now, Squidgy, you hold these sticks up. Uh-huh. And I'll lift up this ladder thingy and lower it onto your sticks. See? We don't need those missing legs. Hey, you're a pretty good builder, Justin. It's perfect! Yeah, I bet I can build anything. Small things, big things. Boats, planes. Barns, buildings. Even great, big, humongous things. Wow! <sighs> no campfire, no marshmallow roasts. No sleep out. Hmm. <gasps> <gasps> what, what was that? Just thunder, Squidgy. Oh, thunder. Ha! I'm not afraid of thunder. <laughs> ah! But I really don't like lightning. Me neither. The storm means no camping with Dad. We're not going camping? Uh-uh. It's way too wet. Oh, no. That means we can't go exploring. <sighs> but real explorers don't mind bad weather, like rain or snow. Or hurricanes. Uh-huh. Or even lightning. <laughs> Did somebody say Bjorn the Explorer? Huh? Uh, no. I, um, hi. I'm Justin. Welcome aboard, Justin. I'm Bjorn, and these are my brothers. <sighs> and my good friend, Olive. Hey, Justin. Hey, Squidgy. Olive! <laughs> Hello, Eugenio. We're private investigators, Justin, Olive, and... Enough of the small talk! It's time to spill the beans! We're looking for a missing kitten. We think he might be here. Hey, I'm up to my neck in sauce and dough here. I don't have room for a little kitty. All right, but how do we know this is your pizza shop?
Yeah, his story checks out. Uh, that pizza box looks familiar, though. Yeah, I'm sure we've seen it before. It's the same pizza box we saw in Mildred's apartment. Got that right. I delivered a pizza there myself, but I didn't see a kid in there. I'm real sorry, miss. We've been looking everywhere. Oh, Humphrey? Is that you? This isn't looking good for you, Eugenio. You said you didn't know anything about a missing kitten. Oh, me? Oh, I've never heard that meow before. Not once, not ever. Who could have guessed it was a little kitty eating all my anchovies? What's that, Humphrey? No anchovies? That's right, no anchovies. That was Mildred's order for the pizza. Indeed, anchovies are positively disgusting. <laughs> so that's why Humphrey is here. He wanted anchovies. Wow. He must have climbed in through the back window. And look at his paws. must have walked through Mildred's paint set. So that means... It wasn't Betsy who took Humphrey. And it wasn't Milkman Stan. And it wasn't a Genio either. Nobody took Humphrey. He just ran off on his own. Genio, I'm sorry I assumed you took Humphrey. I should have looked at all the clues first. Hey, forget about it, Justin. No big whoop, huh? Thank you all for finding Humphrey. You are the best investigators in all of New York City. Thanks, Mildred. Thanks, Humphrey. You kids want to solve a real mystery, though. Hey. How about the mystery of who's going to eat all this pizza I made, huh? <laughs> huh? Hey, what I say? It's the best pizza in town. <laughs> Justin! Oh, we've got to go. Bye, Olive. Bye, Mildred. Bye, Eugenio. Bye, Humphrey. Wow. Hmm. I didn't notice this cord here before. <gasps> Maybe it's a clue, Justin. Oh, yeah. Dad was supposed to vacuum today. Dad, Dad. I solved the mystery of the broken vase. Really? I was wondering who broke it. Did you hear the vase crash when you were vacuuming? Uh-huh, I did. See, this cord is connected to the wall, and it made the table wobble here when it was pulled by the vacuum cleaner. Oh, so I broke the vase when I was vacuuming. I'll have to be more careful next time. Great detective work, Justin. Thanks, Dad. Case closed. where the costume store is. Oh, I can't wait! Blinky eyes, flappy ears, chompy! Mouth. Ah. Sometimes one must rest along the lion's path. Is anyone else hungry? Hey, oranges. I'll go get some for you, Mr. Lee. Thank you, Justin. Huh. Ah, I can't reach. I can get it. Good idea, Squidge. Here, I'll give you a boost. Uh. <laughs> it's stuck! Hold on. We'll come get you. Olive, give me a boost. You got it. <laughs> Whoa. Gotcha. Uh. Yes! Good work, everyone! <laughs> what was that? Oh. The lion dance is starting. <gasps> but we're not ready yet. Ah, but you are ready. But we never got a new costume. Do not worry, my friends. You have followed the lion's path. You are now ready. Now we must go. We don't want to be late for the celebration. Mmm, delicious. And Jen. Hi, guys. Good luck. Their costume is so awesome. <laughs> is anyone even going to notice us? Well, we've kind
come this far. Let's give it a shot. Yeah! Now, let the lion dance begin! Okay, what do we do, Justin? Um, let's try walking. Huh? Whoa! Follow the lion's path. Move like a lion. Follow the lion's path. Right. Let's try zigzagging. Okay. okay. Zig, zag, zig, zag. Hey! I think they're cheering for us. They like it. What should we do next? Justin, Olive, Squidgy. Hop, hop. Let's hop. try hopping. Hop, hop. Now what, Justin? Let's reach for the tree! Right! <gasps> Come on, Squidgy. Get up here. Excuse uh, me. Uh, Coming through. Pardon me. Uh, go for it, Squidgy. <laughs> Grab those oranges. Now everybody pull! <laughs> Unbelievable! Fantastic! How did you learn to do that? Mr. Lee taught us to follow the lion's path. Yes. Justin, Olive, and Squidgy learned that to dance like a lion... You have to move like a lion. You know what? Our costume's awesome, but it's not as awesome as your moves! Mr. Mr. Lee, please, please help, help us follow the lion's path. path! Of course! Justin! Gotta go! Bye, everyone! Bye, Justin! Bye, Squidgy! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Justin? Justin! <laughs> Roar! Ah, a lion! Oh, it's just you, Justin. I'm gonna go pounce on Dad. Roar! Oh, Justin, I thought you were a real lion. <laughs> Close the curtain. How will anybody see our puppets? They won't. What? Watch. They'll see shadows of the puppets. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a beautiful bird who loved to flitter about. <laughs> That looks amazing, Olive. How did you do it? Anything between the lantern and the screen will make a shadow. Oh, I get it. The birdie was flittering around one day when along came her best friend, the fluttery butterfly. <gasps> That's me! Ah, my puppet is gone! So is mine! <laughs> Ugh, we won't be able to finish our play. You mean, I won't be able to be a fluttery butterfly? <sighs> Wait, Squidgy, look. Hey, a butterfly. Wait a second. That's, that's me. I'm a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> You're making a shadow all by yourself, Squidgy. Maybe I can too. With my hand. Great idea, Justin. Let's do it. Fluttery Butterfly saw his best friend, Bunny, who loved to play with Birdie, too. Oh. I like it. Let's keep going. So they all got together. Birdie fluttered. Butterfly fluttered. Flutter, flutter, flutter. And Bunny hopped all around. Hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity. Oh. <laughs> So they flittered and fluttered and hippity hopped until it was time to go to bed. <laughs> oh, nice fluttering, buddy.
buddy. <laughs> nice hopping, buddy. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> buddy brought back the puppets. That's so nice. He doesn't need them anymore. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Justin! I have to go. Bye, Olive. Bye, monkeys. <laughs> Bye, Olive. Bye, buddy. Bye, Justin. Bye, Squidgy. Thanks for helping me with the puppet show. <laughs> I can't wait for tomorrow. We have so many games to play. Tag, Justin says, monkey in the middle. I know something we can play tonight. Whoa, shadows! Hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity. Flutter, flutter, flutter. <laughs> Justin! Mom's calling. Gotta get back to trick or cheating. Bye, Olive. See you later, Justin. Bye, Squidgy. Bye, Olive. Bye bye, Fluffy. Thank you. <gasps> Super Shower Sucker's my favorite! Hey, save some for me, Squidgy. <laughs> Mom, look at all the candy I got. Did you ever? <gasps> look, Justin, a real bat. Now, I hope that didn't scare you too much. Bats aren't scary, Mom. They're kind of cute. And they make Halloween more fun. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> I still can't find my phone. Mom? Yes, honey? Um, Mom, I was playing with the phone and now I can't find it. I'm sorry. That's okay. It is? Yes, I'm glad you were honest. That's important, Justin. And now I know the phone's in the house. But I can't find it anywhere. All we have to do is listen. <laughs> nice! You can call your phone and we'll hear it ring. Mm-hmm. Hello? Ready for the Halloween parade? <laughs> 